Hello friends! Welcome to a new Happy Learning video! Today, we're going to learn about the art of an age that was renowned for being dark and obscure, but on the other hand was also bright, colourful and sharp. Today, we're going to learn about the art of the Middle Ages. The first thing we need to know is that during the Middle Ages there were two major artistic movements, the Romanesque and the Gothic. During the Middle Ages, which, as you already know, is from the 5th to the 15th century, Christianity was the religion that dominated much of Europe. The church had a lot of power and art was its best tool to convey its message to those who couldn't read or write, which was the majority of people. Religion was in painting, in sculpture, and above all in the architecture. Many churches and monasteries were built both in the cities and in the countryside. The Middle Ages were very long, lasting a thousand years. But it wasn't until the 11th century when the Romanesque style appeared, which ended in the 12th century. Do you know why it's called Romanesque art? Well, because it inherited from the Romans the semicircular arch, which is the one you can see here. It looks like a semicircle, doesn't it? Remember, from Rome comes the word Romanesque. It's easy, right? Since the society of the Middle Ages was very hierarchical, the kings, the nobility and the church were the only classes that were rich and powerful. The buildings that were erected were castles for the kings and nobility and churches for the church. They were defensive buildings with thick walls and small windows, which meant they had very little light inside. They were very dark. Look at these sculptures. Together with the painting inside, they depict scenes from the Bible. If you look closely, you can see they made use of almost all space possible to make sculptures. The walls, the columns, the frames, the doors, and with them, they taught many things about religion. After the Romanesque comes Gothic art, which spanned from the 13th to the 15th centuries. In the Gothic period, buildings were getting taller and taller because they believed in doing so, they were getting closer to God. Everything pointed to the sky even the arches, which are now pointed. Look at the difference between a Romanesque round arch and a Gothic pointed arch. During the Gothic period, churches became more stylized. Their walls became thinner and the windows were enlarged and filled with stained glass. Just like the beautiful rose window in the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. Look at the effect of the lights. It's magical. These wonders took so many years to build that those who started them never got to see them finished. We're so lucky that we can enjoy them. Did you know that the artists who made these beautiful works remain unknown? We don't know who they are. They worked in groups called guilds and there were guilds of carpenters, sculptors and painters. The group was much more important than the individual. Now that's teamwork. Can you now see that the art in the Middle Ages during the Romanesque period was very dark, but then in the Gothic, it was very colorful. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Goodbye friends.